as we journey, we will grow. Different aspects of ourselves will come into view. We will see things that will change. Shifts will happen. We will inevitably be who we were called to be. Age ain't nothing but a number, but it's surety, a phase in which we embody, we implore, we understand, and we encapsulate. Age brings about so many differences in our mind and our spiritual nature. It calls into this place in which we know who we are and whose we are, and we are settled on who we will always be. Don't look at age as a bad thing. No, 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 it's good. It gives us this emphasis of growth and love and self-appreciation and the honoring of who we are. It doesn't matter what digit or what age, what number is defined. It gives us a space in which we love who we are and how we are and what walk of life that we are in. Our journey is different, but our journey meets the crossroads of others. Be happy that you are here. Be solid in where you stand. Age ain't nothing but a number, but wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom gives you much of what you call to know your age. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back. Listen, if you are new to the channel, I am Lisa Marie, the host of Season Dialogue. I also have an audio podcast available on Google, Spotify, Our Radio, and Apple, anywhere you listen to your podcast. So chime in and listen. Some of the episodes that are here on YouTube are also there in the audio podcast. And the podcast, the audio podcast has much more as well so tap in and by the end of the video if you like the vibes if you like what you heard i would love for you to subscribe to the channel and also give me a thumbs up okay and sharing is caring so share with a friend now let's go in per the thumbnail you saw it okay something about them 40s i want to go through just a little bit about them 40s and what it did for me now I recognize that 40 may not be a milestone age for many people. It varies person to person depending on what it is that, you know, happened in your life. But for me, I wanted to do this video on 40 because I recently had a conversation with three friends and we are the same age. We are 40, honey. And something different for 40 was the just the emphasis of the conversation that we were having and we were all feeling the same thing i wanted to express this too to anybody going into 40 maybe you know in their mid-30s or even if you're in your 20s something to you know look forward to i remember my 20s and my 30s i was still trying to find out what i loved what i didn't like again you know, being a mother and being a wife, sometimes you're just kind of stifled into what you've always known. There's a sense of a lack of independence on your own thinking and your own growth. But something about rearing into 40, uh, two of my, my oldest kids were, you know, graduating from high school and they were they were just finding themselves. And I found freedom in understanding that my children were good. And that freedom allowed me to tap into things that I always wanted to do and discover some things that I didn't know about myself. Another thing that I found in 40, it was that, you know, and I'm gonna be just real, I stopped giving a darn about how people perceived me, how they looked at me, and even the feelings that I had about myself with certain things that maybe I wanted to try or certain things that I wanted to tap into. 40 gave me a sense of awareness that, listen, we are here and we live in this earth, but we are not here for a long time. So I wanted to tap into and discover and walk into some spaces that maybe other ages, other numbers didn't allow me to do. So thus the freedom of that also gave me the creative vision to just do anything that I wanted to do with sound mind and with wisdom, right? Uh, and just enveloping this part of me that I felt like I've held down for so long. 40 also allowed me to really hone into what I wanted my life to mirror as I went forward. And what I mean by that is many of the things that I may have accepted before, you don't get that now. 
something about the understanding of what friendship looked like for me um, wasn't the same that it was in my 20s and 30s. I also seem to have cultivated friendships based on the understanding that life lives and life happens. Many friends that I had in my 20s and my 30s may have been just single, uh, you know, not married, not kids. And so they didn't understand the dynamics of what having kids and uh, being with a significant other meant. So many times those friends would pull and they would cause situations in my personal life because I had things to tend to. I was multitasking in different areas of my life and friendship in the sense of people who didn't understand did me no good. So the older that I became, the wiser as well and learning the lessons, I put a stop to that and I realized that I wanted to cultivate friendships that were long lasting with people who understood the dynamics of life. 40 also showed me something, and this is interesting, right? Y'all gonna laugh, but it's it's real, real. Like, this was one of the conversations that me and my friends were having, and it was the envelop and developing of our bodies in ways that we knew nothing about. I know it sounds really funny, but it's real. And we were talking about the explosion of women wanting to alter and change parts of their bodies. Listen, if you do it, listen, I that's you i'm not coming down on you that's a personal decision but what i found was many of the things that we didn't like in our early 20s and in our 30s something about the latter 30s like that 37 38 39 to 40 honey bring about some changes in the body i started to get some curves that i didn't even know about i thought that three you know boys would bring about what it was that I was seeking, but something about age gave me a little, like a paratata on it, right? And I just, I loved, I, I began to love myself more because I began to show up in this way that just did something to me. It was like self-love all over again. I'm loving every inch of me, even the parts of me that I thought maybe was a little you know, I don't know, repulsed by, and I won't say repulsed, but you know, everyone has their thing. And my thing was after having three kids, I had some stretch marks, but I'm now like understanding, baby, these stretch marks are warrior wounds and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. And 40 looks good on me. The other thing that I found that 40 gave me was a type of settlement that I've never felt in any age of my life. And when I speak of settlement, it's just that I, again, know who I am and you can't tell me who I am and who I'm not. And there is this sense of beauty that 40 entails that just lets me know that I'm grown, grown. If I didn't feel grown, grown before, I definitely feel grown, grown now. And um, what happened with myself and many of my friends when we were speaking about it was that younger women were coming to just get information about life that maybe they couldn't talk to you know of course their friends on a similar level they needed a more mature uh conversation or just some intake from someone who lived a life and understand and it feels good to be in growth and know that you can give some supplemental information to someone who needs it. 40 also showed me that honestly life is short. 40 also gave me this sense of peace that I feel that I didn't get uh, many years before. I think that when I think back into my personal life, it was chaotic because I was really putting my mind on different things that I maybe wanted to do or different projects or just spending time in different areas of my life and not being able to think clearly but something about the shift going into 39 to 40 showed me that I am I can and I will be capable of all things and it's okay my peace comes from a place of knowing that at this point in my life I'm good and even if there are moments in my life that I'm not good, listen, 20 and 30 showed me so much of the shifts 
that I am accustomed to coming out of it. And I know the journey that God has shown me and I'm moving onward. You know, every time that we turn a different number, you know, walk into a different age, we should be thankful. Many of us fear uh, getting older because getting older means that many aspects of ourselves physically will change but i'm embracing every single part of it it's so funny like if you go to uh any store walmart or you know you're looking online on amazon and you're looking at the milestones of birthday ages you'll see that 40 is one of them people uh celebrate 40 because 40 i believe is the number that shows us much growth and for a lot of people too that is stability uh in our 20s you know we're discovering finding ourselves we are moving in a world where you know for many of us it's the first time that we are alone with ourselves and having true independence and we are making many mistakes and we are learning as well and then settling into our latter 20s into our 30s many of us began families or we are in relationships jobs are different we become a bigger age of you know our 30s and again we are still learning and discovering we are figuring out financial roles partnership roles uh, parental roles authoritarian roles and we are meeting life where it is we're journeying still And then when you're walking into 40, because we've learned so many lessons from 20 and from 30, we are capable of having the tools to use in 40 and beyond. 40 gives us this sense of stability that lets us know that we are on the right path. And even if we get discouraged again, we still have the tools to jumpstart ourselves and look at the life the way that it is with a positive outlook and not so much of a negative when we didn't have the tools in our early 20s and journeying into our latter 20s and beginning our 30s 40 makes you feel full for a lot of us it's walking into a place where we honor who we are as people and we love who we are the way that we are showing up we also find that 40 gives us beautiful attributes as women. We may not have gotten it in our 20s and in our 30s, but something about the way the body settles gives us this mm that we, you know, didn't know of and makes us feel fine, fine, right? Um, The other thing is that we have the tools to walk into the age that is presented to us as we go along and we journey and you know it gives us a sense of self we don't care about what people think and we are no longer in our minds about what will people think and i don't like these things about myself once you get into the age of 40 you recognize that this is what it is and you kind of become settled in who you are there are ever-changing dynamics and our mindful growth and our spiritual growth and also our physical growth but there's something about the settling of knowing that as we venture on from 40 to 41 to 45 50 55 and 60 right that we truly know ourselves we've lived with ourselves enough to be confident in who we are I didn't want to expand this video. I just wanted to give you some insights and some tidbits on what 40 looks like and what 40 meant to me. Again, I am some weeks away from turning 41 and I am so happy. 40 has been the age of abundance, clarity, wisdom, growth, self-realization, and so much more. And I cannot wait to see what these fall it is all the way into these 50s is gonna do for me listen i want to remind you as well and i'll go back to what i said that every age every digit every number that we cross and every number that we hit be thankful that you are still here because you get a chance to 
redo some things and you can do a do-over right and you can change it anytime at any point in your life if you messed up yesterday guess what today you have a chance to correct it and move forward be thankful that you are still here because many did not see this beautiful day i hope you enjoy today's episode again I'll go back through it, all right? If you like what you heard, if it resonated with you, if you like the vibes, please, please, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, share with a friend, and follow me as well on my audio podcast, Google, Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio. Uh, 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 uh. All right, y'all. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.